Hey guys, so I am going to do my makeup to film, so I figured let's just do a makeup play date. I have done one recently, I'm not sure if it's up already or not, but I wanted to do it since I got more products to test with you guys. And today I wanted to use for my eyes the uh, Smashbox, the Palm, and what is it, Pink and Palms eyeshadow palette that I purchased for my birthday. This one right here. So I figured why not just play around with makeup while I'm on camera. So I think I'm going to go ahead and use this shade right here, which I believe is called Flamingo Pink in the crease. Uh, I did most of my face as usual. Let's see, this is really pretty. Believe it or not, this palette is very wearable. It's not so bright in your face. This is a very pretty shade. I want to add a little bit of pink, so I'm going to go with this one called Melon Baller. So I'm going to go ahead and add a little bit more pink. For the lid, I think I'm going to go with this one right here called What the Fuchsia, which is this one right here. I will tell you this shade right here is very similar to Solstice in the BH Cosmetics one. Let me see. The one in the Smashbox is a little bit more orangey, peachy shade and then the one in the BH is more pink. I don't know if you guys can tell on camera. This is the BH is more pink. This one's more peachy color, but they're very similar. On the eyes, they look very similar. And then you guys know what I was going to do in the lash line. Lower lash line, we're going to go in with Froyo, which is this minty shade. Looks so pretty. It's a very powdery eyeshadow. And you have to pack it on, otherwise you won't get the pigmentation. If you blend it out, it'll be very sheer. I was expecting it to be a little bit more like in my face, but it's okay, it's okay. I'm gonna grab my liner, my uh, aqua one, the Jade. Okay, so I'm gonna do my mascara, my lashes, all the boring stuff, my liner, you yeah, know. And then I'll go back in and we can test out more fun new products. Okay, now for blush, I want to use uh, this one again. This is the, what is this one called? Just Peachy. I hauled this one for you guys and I wanted to use this one again. And it is a matte blush. Now you could go with a pink blush because I did use pink in the crease, but that's more like a peachy pink in real life so that's why I wanted to use that one now this I didn't haul because I forgot but I did purchase this hard candy cruising the coast trio I had gotten the other two and I really liked them so I wanted to try this one out and I want to use this third one right here and I don't know if this one has a name <laughs> no so I'm just gonna go ahead and use this one right here this peachy one as a highlighter Really pretty. Hmm. Now for lips, as you guys know, I don't buy much lip products, so I want to go ahead and use something in my collection. I'm going to use this mauve lipstick from Sola. Sola Look uh, is an indie brand in Gina, and then I'm going to line my lips with my usual panning lip liner. So this is the final look to recap on the products. Um, this new blush, I think I mentioned this before, I really like it, so I know this is a keeper. I'm probably going to use this. Uh, this one right here is the Hard Candy Baked Trio in Cruising the Coast. 
I'm going to keep playing with this to see because I feel like this is more like a blush topper than anything. I don't know about the other shades. Like that one's really yellow gold. That's very yellow gold. And this one is like a straight up peach. So we're going to play around with this more and I'll get back to you in a worth it or worthless. This eyeshadow palette this is the first time I use it as well, but... I really like it. It blended really nice. The mattes blended very nice. The shimmer shade packed on real good with a brush. I didn't have to wet it. Um, it it's like a really pretty orangey pink. It's really, really nice. Um, I'm going to play around with more of the shades. I wish that this one was a little bit more pigmented on the eyes. You have to. This is more like a packing on mint shade than a blending out. Because once you blend it out, it kind of shears out. But because of my liner that I used, it's more vibrant. But if you don't have like a, a liner to go with it, it may be a little bit of a challenge. You got to pack it on. So I do like the look. I think it's fun. I like it. And my funky hair today, you guys. <laughs> so anyway, I will list and link all the products down below. You guys are going to hear an update on a worth it or worthless, whether I like these products or not, whether they're going to stay in my collection, or they're going to find a new home, or back to the store they go. Thank you again for watching. I will catch you guys in my next video. And don't forget that a smile is the best makeup a girl can wear. Bye, guys. Mm -hmm.